<clears throat> Welcome ladies and gentlemen, this is Jock here from uh, Awareness in Action and in today's episode we're going to talk a little bit about content. Why? Because so many people ask me as a coach when I'm helping them with the business, I'm helping them to develop their ideas, they get confused on what unique content is and what they think unique content is and what it actually is, is two different things. So when we come back, we're going to talk about how to develop unique content and what unique content actually is. Okay, welcome back guys. So what is unique content? When I when I talk to people that are starting their businesses or even some of my clients from my agency side of things in, in the HVAC side of things or in legal, uh, I talk to these and I talk, tell them about content. We talk about content a lot and you have to have unique content. And a lot of people think that unique content is really uh, rewritten content or different content. For for instance, you write an article on your, your website and uh, you want to utilize that article elsewhere so you rewrite it differently or you take an idea or a concept from somebody else's article and you just kind of change it a little bit. Well, that's not unique content. When we're talking about unique content, we're talking about thinking about things outside of the box, okay? So you can take an article, let's say for instance, to how, do, how do we, de we'll get to developing unique content later, but what it actually is. So you can take an article that's maybe been written somewhere. Let's say for instance, there's an article um, on, uh, in, in the air conditioning industry or something, and it's about you know how to uh, identify what sort of filters that you have. Or maybe it's an article in the legal industry. Maybe it's something about how to prepare for a disaster. and. So you look at that article, you don't exactly then look at it and then just rewrite that article. What unique content is, is taking the idea of that content and making it better, thinking about things outside of the box. What is different, okay? So how to choose um, the right air filter for your air conditioning system can turn into something like you know, what types of air filters are there, okay? And where does the ratings come from? And what? how does that actually help you with your health, okay? That article then is completely different but it has been it's been seeded from the original article that you that you read or you got the idea from. But then how you develop that more is you'll take that concept and you'll think outside the box. So let's say that we have we have thought outside the box. Let's say, for instance, we've just taken that article in the HVAC industry, and it's and it's about you know how to choose the right filter. And they've gone down and they've they've written about you know these are the filters that are available, and this will be for your system. What you want to do is how how can you think differently about this? So you'll take that concept and you'll 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 take that now into you know what are the ratings for them, and how does those ratings. Um, uh, affect your health or how is it looked how what type of of organisms does the the filter stop and and maybe going into more about you know how someone with asthma would use a particular type of filter or or how someone with with a, a breathing problem would have a higher rated filter and why that would actually help them in you know more than choosing something differently and then talk a little bit about the health factors and so you're thinking differently. You're you're ex you're you're starting to give more benefit to your audience because remember what we're talking about with unique content is problem marketing. Something that I teach a lot is you're not writing for search engines, okay? You're writing for people. You're you're writing or developing content, not just writing, but developing content that gives a solution to a problem. But you will never rank anywhere online with content that is rewritten because at the end of the day, Google recognizes that. You need to take the idea and manipulate the idea from the original um, source into something better. So that content that you have just come up with, right? And you've thought outside the box, excuse me, you've thought outside the box and you're thinking more about the health factors. That written piece that you do could actually turn into a video, okay? And that's unique, again, 
So this is how we develop the unique content and how we can seed that unique content into different things. So you have that video there. Then you remove the audio and you can create a podcast, an audio from that video. And so you have then you have got the article, you've got the audio and you've got the video. So you see how very easily we've taken one concept, okay, that one concept, and we have developed that into several pieces of unique content, all with the same idea, but unique, okay, because the audio, the audio is different to the written and the visual is different to the written, etc. And they are all seeded from the same thing. But here's the thing that makes it even more unique. So let's for instance, let's say for instance, you've taken the audio from that particular um, recording that you did as a video of the article or you've taken you know, you've recorded the, the article as an audio, but you've you put in filler pieces into it. You talk about examples of how someone utilized that particular filter and the benefits that they got from it just by telling a story. Again, in doing this, you're making an emotional connection with someone and you're beginning to build the relationship and you're starting to build unique relationships with your unique content, which in turn, actually it will translate into long term customers. Okay, not short term, long term customers, you're starting to de develop the relationship. And I'm only using the concept of, of, of the HVAC side of things because I've worked in that industry. But there's so many different ways. I mean, from uh, from holistic side of things, we could take the concept of, let's say, for instance, essential oils and how essential oils um, help in uh, negating the problems with viruses and viruses in the air or viruses that, that, that you can ingest. How can essential oils help you? So instead of writing the top 10 essential oils that are good for your, you, you, you can go to the top articles where they talk, talk about the top, you know, the top essential oils that benefit, you know, benefit you against cold flus and viruses, okay? And then you can take that idea and that concept and go deeper, okay? You can talk about what particular oil helps with what and you can give examples and you can do the video and you can do the audio so you see one piece of of written content just changing the content in a written form doesn't necessarily mean it's unique but if we take the idea okay the idea that's held within that make it unique with the unique pieces of content that answer a problem that people are searching for, the chances are is that you will actually be found in search results and rank higher more readily than anybody who just takes a piece of content and rewrites it in their own words. That is not unique content. That is not how we do content marketing. Content marketing is about ideas and building upon those ideas and taking those ideas one step, one stage further to be able to dive deeper and to help someone answer a question or problem that they have, not just on the surface, but more. So that you become the authority in your niche. So you're the person who's an expert in essential oils. You take a particular essential oil, let's say clove, and you just don't say that the clove helps you with these viruses and everything else. Why does it help you? Who has had benefits from utilizing clove oil? And what has the medical community said about it? Before you know it, you have got tons of pieces of content from that one article that you've maybe seeded or you've written about, okay? This is how unique content works, ladies and gentlemen. Unique content is not rewritten content. Unique content is ideas that are formulated into developmental content that can be built upon. Take the idea, go deeper, enhance it, and answer the problem. That is unique content. In, in other videos, you know, I'm gonna actually show you how to actually do this and develop it. Um, but for now, I just wanna explain what it actually means and how you can harness the power of unique content in your business, in your holistic practice, in your 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 uh, your air conditioning, your HVAC company, in your legal, uh, you know, your 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 law office. How unique content can be taken in so many different ways 
to answer the plight of someone who has that problem or has that question or needs an answer to it. There's many ways. Don't just go on the surface. Take the idea and go deeper. And then, you know, explore. Be an explorer. Explore the ideas and seed it out. This is how we grow. This is how we grow our communities. This is how we grow our audience. By seeding out that information and being of benefit to people that are looking for answers. That is what Google loves. That is what the search engines love. That is also what people love. And in turn, socially, they will transmit that. Socially, they will spread that. And um, it, it will go, well, hopefully it will go viral, but you know, in a good way. Since the, at the climate at the moment, we don't really want to bring any negativity into it. But you get the idea that unique content is an exploration of an idea and formulated differently in different ways on audio and visual uh, and, 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 and also um, even in creating infographics of that content. Look at it in a different way and that's how you will win the content game, ladies and gentlemen. If you've got any questions, please uh, don't hesitate to ask. If you, you are stuck with something, then please don't hesitate to ask. Follow me on Instagram at Jock Brokus. And uh, if you want to learn anything else, then let me know. If, if you're stuck with something in your business or if something doesn't make any sense, even just in your life, then ask any questions because your life and your business work hand in hand and both have a spiritual capacity and a spiritual foundation. So have a wonderful day, guys. Wherever you are in the world, don't forget to subscribe. If you're watching on a uh, video, then ob obviously on YouTube. And if you are listening on the podcast, then on iTunes and elsewhere. God bless, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great day.